So we have <clears throat> Sigel or Sawilla, Laguz, and Manaz. I am going to <clears throat> clarify these runes with one chakra card and one tarot card. So we're going to clarify Sawilla, please. Why do we keep getting Sawilla? Why does Aquarius keep getting Sawilla? Why does Aquarius keep getting Sawilla? Interesting. It's related to trust and truth. Okay, I can't wait to look at that. Lagoos and Manas. Why do... Well, you got Lagoos the other day. Um, what is Lagoos in this reading? What is Lagoos in this reading? <clears throat> Manifestation. Intuition. Actually, that's incredible. Because this is a lot about psychic abilities, Lagoos. And we just got intuition is the little tug that pulls you toward your light. Okay, and Manas, why are we getting Manas? Why is Manas here? Wow, uh, divinity, so spirit may want you to do some divine work on spirit's behalf. I'm going to get some tarot and we are going to clarify these, okay? Clarify Seagal, please. Why are we getting Seagal? Clarify Seagal, please. Why are we getting Seagal, the devil? Oh, this is going to be very interesting. Um, clarify Lagoos, please. Why are we getting Lagoos? Clarify Lagoos, please. Why are we getting Lagoos? I heard it come out. Why are we getting Lagoos? Clarify Lagoos, please. Why are we getting Lagoos? The lovers. Wow. So far, we have two major arcana. Clarify Manas. Please, why are we getting Manas? Why are we getting Manas? Several times you've gotten that room. Wow. The Six of Cups. Holy guacamole. I feel like this is going to be a very death on the bottom of the clarification deck. All right, let's have a look at this. All right, let's start with the first room, <clears throat> Sawillow, or it's also known as Seagel. Notice that it was clarified by the devil. I'm going to read you a little quote on the power of Sawillo. It means the sun, light, wholeness, the spirit of light, completeness, the gift of understanding. <clears throat> now here's a quote um, from I Fate on Sawillo. In spirituality, the rune Sawillo is read as a clearer vision. The victory of good over evil. Light over darkness. <clears throat> so Willow warns for using the powers of good to defeat evil. Now, this is very interesting. Uh, the clarification cards were key. So we had to clarify <clears throat> truth. Speak from your heart. It is the only thing worth listening to. Trust. Trust your intuition. It is in contact with a higher source of knowledge. Now, this room, Sawillow, the idea of trusting your intuition, being in contact with a higher source of knowledge, speaking from your heart, are the direct opposite of the devil. It is an interesting clarification card because the devil card is all about a lack of light, a lack of spirituality, a lack 
of truth, a lack of intuition, a lack of being in contact with a higher source of knowledge. If you think of this card, and it's interesting because the lovers clarified La Goose, and these cards, the lovers and the devil, look very similar. We have a naked man. Oh, God, I'm probably going to get in trouble for, with you two for this. I'll get cited. I'll have a citation. Anyway, we have a naked man and a naked woman. We have a spirit here. Well, actually, this is an archangel. It's Archangel Raphael. And we have our devil. <laughs> Notice that his legs are in the shape of a heart, his hairy legs. But the most important things <clears throat> in this card, in these cards, to clarify what's going on here, are the hand mudras. In the lover's card, the man is actually afraid. And it, his closed hand mudra there, um, it's called palava. Um, it's a weapon. So he's in defensive mode. He's afraid. <laughs> Of, of spiritual love. The woman is using a mudra to tell the man, she's using a mudra called abaya, to tell the man not to be fearful. And notice that she is looking up to spirit. He is looking at her body. So she's happy there and fearless. He's afraid. In the devil card, the man is using a mudra um, it's called um, Sarah Pashiro. Um, and he's basically telling her with that mudra that he will protect her from evil. In this card, she is so out of it. That her hand gesture is, it's a mudra that allows um, her to be affected by everything around her. So she's, she's doped up there. She can't, she can't even think for herself. Now, let me just finish what I was going to say here. Here is the thing that people forget about, you know, the idea of good and evil. Okay, so if we call this good, the lover's good, and this evil, that's fine. But here's the problem. This card has everything that this card has. This card has everything that this card has except one thing. This card does not have the element of spirit. And I'll show you why, why it's missing. If we turn the devil card upside down, we can see there is a right side up um, pentagram. It, you know, it's, it's able to stand on its legs there. And so we have the points, earth, air, water, fire, and spirit. Now, when you turn that card right side up, that the spirit tip gets dumped out of the card. All the spirit is gone. That means there's no faith, no love, no truth, no wholeness, um, no peace. So it's not that, that there, this is the reason why we say there's no such thing as evil. There is simply a lack of spirit. So what do we get? Sex without love, fear, a cold feeling, unrest, irritation, anger. Um, it, it's, a, it's an empty vessel. So the chakra card of truth, it says, speak from your heart. It is the only thing worth listening to truth. There is a great big lie in this card. There is a lie. The lie is in the hand gesture of the devil. That hand gesture, I can't remember the mudra now, but it means generally, this is all there is. There's nothing more. You don't need to be afraid. This is all there is. That's a lie, of course. This is all there is, is the same thing as looking around you in this world and 
saying to yourself, oh, I don't have a car and I don't have this, I don't have that. It's putting all the emphasis on material things. In other words, all the emphasis on things that only our five senses can pick up. Well, that is a lie because we know that, that there exists a quantum field. Where do our thoughts go? Where do our plans go? Our intuition, intelligence, creativity, intentions, memories, ideas. These are not physical things. Love. It's not, it doesn't, you know, it's not, it may, you may be able to see it in actions, uh, you know, that, that people um, take. But it's not, you can't pick it up. You can't, you know, hold it in your hand. It's in the quantum field. It's in the unmanifest. And that, in fact, is where everything comes from. Um, the infinity sign over the magician's head and over the woman's head in the strength card is not actually, well, of course, it could be an infinity sign, but it is the lemniscape, the energy of thought, the, the symbol for the quantum field which does exist. Physicists, that's what they do. They just, they study the quantum field. It is the area where there is infinite, waveless energy. The only thing is, it's, in, it's the, air, it's the um, realm that human being radar, five senses, are ill-equipped. We are ill-equipped to pick this up. Cats and snakes can pick up some of what is in the quantum field. But unfortunately, um, human beings cannot actually... You know what, I'm going to take that back because I think some human beings can. I really do. You know, so the energy that the devil can detect, you know, is material. Um, things that he can feel, things that he can eat, things that he can play with, things that he can drive in and show off. All right, so why is it important here? Because <clears throat> it's difficult sometimes as a human being to believe that God is there, to believe that an intelligent, creative energy exists. Because we, want, we, are, we are used to thinking that if you can't see it, feel it, taste it, touch it, it's not there. Well... We wouldn't be here if it were not for the quantum field. That's where we come from, the unmanifest. Now, when you place all your emphasis on what you can see, it's very difficult to trust. Very difficult to trust your intuition. Very difficult to believe that there is a higher source of knowledge. So you end up feeling fearful. Jealous, afraid, empty, because you're looking at everything and you think, oh, well, if, if I, don't, I don't have this, I don't have that. If the key to manifesting is to, to get into the energy of things already being here. That's how you, that's how you bring things into, into being. All right. If we were to rely on our five senses only, we would still believe that the world was flat. If you were able to walk, um, let's say from here, um, if you, you know, took a compass and walked in a straight line as for as long as you could, you would end up coming back to where you are because, of course, the world is round. But your five senses, when you got back to, from whence you came, would tell you that you're crazy. Because your five senses say, I don't remember it going up or down or climbing any hill or being upside down. There's no way that the world can be round. Otherwise, I would have been, you know, upside down. Well, our five senses, um, you know, are deceptive. The devil is deceptive. Other people think that this, this hand gesture here um, is Aaron's blessing, is Shephetal. And what's, I do believe that Edward Arthur Waite drew it like that because the Aaron's blessing is the exact opposite 
these are the false promises that the devil makes. But of course, it's all a lie. Hashem will kneel before you presenting gifts and will guard you with a hedge of protection, will illuminate you, the wholeness of your being and set in place all you need to be complete. The devil will break every single one of those promises. You'll be in danger here without spirit. You will not glow. You will look dull and lackluster. You will not feel whole. You will feel incomplete. You place all your emphasis on materialism. And you're not going to feel whole if you don't have a car like everyone else or a fancy house. You will not have peace either. People who are heavily dependent on material things and what I have and comparing yourself to others, judgment, punishment, um, you know, looking at others and judging them because they don't have money or judging them because they don't have status. Judge, judge, judge. These people will feel jealous, angry, afraid. Uh, there will be worrying all the time. People who, who sign this deal with the devil are never at peace. They can't stand being alone because they're afraid. So they, they have to fill their lives up with noise, constant noise. There will never be peace. The devil is a lie. Now, that's why you have to trust yourself when all others doubt you, but make allowance for their doubting too. In other words, don't be rude. Your intuition may tell you that something is so, and people may tell you you're crazy, you're crazy, but your intuition is always correct. It's not a running logical dialogue in your head. That's the devil. Your intuition, it, you, you will never, if you're really listening to your intuition, you will never be uncertain. So if you say to yourself, oh, well, I'll listen, I'll try to listen to my intuition more, but I don't trust it. Well, then you're not hearing the truth. If you're still uncertain about something, you're not in touch with your intuition. It, it's the same thing, you know, spirit says, the truth, love, faith, um, it's all the same thing. It's aligned. Everything has to be aligned with the truth. That is why um, we really, it shouldn't, if we were all aligned with God, all and which is just unconditional love, is, is, is all that, that it is. It's unconditional love. If unconditional love is always truthful, always straight, always aligned. What does that mean? That means that if no matter what country you're in, no matter what the man-made silly laws are, your, your, your soul, your gut, your, your heart will tell you at all times the right thing to do. And it will tell you at all times if something is wrong something is inherently wrong and then that has nothing to do with laws that human beings write up and that judges try to justify now what does that mean my grandfather used to say right is right and wrong is wrong and wrong is no man's right so you will always feel it when something is right and when something is wrong. All right, now. So I think that the devil card came up to clarify because these, the devil energy, fear, uh, you know, lack of confidence, lack of faith, these, the devil energy will, will in fact compromise your ability to trust your intuition. Compromise your ability to speak from your heart. Compromise your ability to understand the worthiness of things that you cannot see. Okay. Now, so over here, I think it's amazing, by the way. Of course, you've got six, six, <laughs> and 
six, 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 right? No, the number 15 here and six, six. But I, but I just think it's really incredible what came out. So with Lagoos, this is really interesting. This is going to be something that's going to come up in your reading. So one of, I'm just giggling at this because it, it's very, very interesting reading. I have to immediately bring up what this can mean sometimes. First of all, whether you are a male or a female, it indicates that there is, you could have a problem with a woman, okay? Not a man, a woman. Um, it also means um, that it can be someone who is very jealous and it, it can mean that in your vicinity, there could be a potentially hazardous situation or a bad offer being made that you should turn down. Um, and again, so you, the, the card of, of intuition was pulled for Lagoos as well. Um, so in other words, a woman, no matter what sex you are, a woman may come into your life. She may make an offer, and the lover's card is often about a contract. So you're going to need to rely on your intuition because this woman, that you know, the Lagoos woman, is someone that can put on a pretty good show. It's, you know, it's, th this is not all that's there. <laughs> There's something else, you know. So intuition is the little tug that pulls you toward your light. <laughs> so something may look really good on the outside. It could be rotten and hollow on the inside, all right? Um, now, um, Lagoos is also a rune of intuitive knowledge and indicates that you should follow your intuition closely. Now, for those of you um, who have prophetic dreams, and I think a lot of you do, in other words, it, it, prophetic dreams, if you find that your dreams are actually um, directly correlating to things that later happen, um, this is really important. You should pay attention to your dreams because it could have something to do with whoever I feel like there is a woman coming into your lives for many of you. Um, you may be tempted to go down the wrong path. You may be tempted to accept a bad offer. You're going to have to trust your intuition. Now, what's really interesting are the, um, is what follows after this, manas. I mean, this is all connected. So for Manas, when Manas is um, paired with Lagoos, so out of all the 26 runes, this combination of Manas and Lagaz, it, it, so first of all, it is, you know, Manas is a rune of humankind, of interdependence, people working together, all right? Working together. So a woman may offer, may, you know, may, may want to be a business partner or something. Um, Manas can mean you can expect to receive aid, you know, regarding some project. So maybe this woman will come into your life and, you know, offer to to, uh, to invest in your business if she could become a business partner or something. Um, so, but when Manas and Lagas are, um, are paired together, it means that you will have problems with a woman no matter what the querent's sex. So there are two, two runes of a problematic woman. Anyway, um, so I forgot to mention manifestation. Um, for Under the Lovers we had manifestation is the fruition of confidence and belief. Now the reason why confidence and belief and manifestation is important is because of this pairing. Um, you may be tempted to, to go down the wrong road or, or take a bad offer um, because you may be fearful um, that if you, it, it's like wanting to take a, 
shortcut. Um, so you may be tempted <laughs> to do the wrong thing. So in other words, if someone is, uh, you really need the money and someone comes along, offers to invest in your business and you're kind of worried about the personality of the investor, but you take it because you're afraid that you won't be able to, um, you know, manifest the money yourself. Well, don't. <laughs> um, you have to listen to your inner voice there. Now, um, but that goes right along with the next um, room. All right. And the next, sorry. Oh, yes, divinity. All right, here we go. The other thing I meant to mention about manas <clears throat> is that um, that room tells you that you can expect to receive good, honest, unbiased advice and help. And in the Six of Cups, of course, there is this beautiful, sweet gift um, that the boy is giving the little girl. Now, the chakra card to clarify manas is divinity. Recognize the divine in the mirror. So a lot of people are uncomfortable with that <clears throat> because, of course, in poor old Jesus, um, you know, when he's, people started accusing him of saying, uh, you know, of, of, of being, they were accusing him of, of acting like a god, of saying that he was more than human, which, of course, Jesus is the only Messiah that did exactly the opposite. But anyway, um, so divinity recognize the divine in the mirror. Divinity is your holiness. It's very holy. Um, the And so a lot of us are uncomfortable um, with that because we think, oh, well, we, we're not God. God is, and in fact, if you were brought up in any, de, in any you know, deity of Christianity, you pro it was probably, you were probably programmed to believe that, um, you know, God, that we, we lack something that God has. Well, Wayne Dyer, the late Wayne Dyer, God rest his soul, he was such a wonderful man. He used to use an analogy. He suggested to people that they think of, if God is the ocean, you are simply a cup of the ocean. Same thing, same ingredients. Okay, um, so that is the best way to think of divinity. Recognize the divine in the mirror in you. Um, the three divine virtues, of course, are faith, hope, and charity. Um, now, I think the reason why the Six of Cups came out is um, one of the easiest ways to recognize the divine in you is to look at a little innocent child or an innocent animal um, and hear, of course, the innocence, you know, in the little girl there, the way her little hand is placed, and the innocence, the little boy is leaning down, hand up, yeah. So, you know, you we know when we look at a little baby or a little child, how about a baby, just born baby, that's the easiest one because that couldn't possibly have done anything wrong, you know. Um, so if a little baby, you know, I'm sure you'll agree with me that or a little baby is born and it's cold and crying and probably has a hungry tummy, does that little baby deserve, do you think, to, to feel comforted and warm and to be fed and to feel like it, somebody wants to be in their company? Yes, of course. That little baby is you. Aquarius, this is part one. I will post in a few hours part two. Hope you can join me then. I'm going to put part two on a live chat so I can do some free mini readings. Okay, so hope to see you on the live chat in a few hours.